Greetings, uh, Waverly Church of the Nazarene. It's Pastor Darren, and I want to take a moment to extend some thanks to you. Uh, I want to thank you, first of all, for your faithfulness and giving. Uh, during this crazy time, uh, many of you have learned new methods of giving, and all of us have been diligent in, in making sure that we're continuing to give so that the work of the church can keep happening, and, and you are doing that, and it's making a difference, so thank you very much. I also want to thank you for being the church. You are the light in the dark. You're serving people in need. You're making masks. You're praying. Um, you are uh, providing meals. You are uh, offering to assist people in need. We have had so many more people offer to help than we have had uh, actual needs. Um, I also want to thank you for your patience and your understanding. I know that there is a large diversity of opinions and views about what should be happening right now. There's no way to please everybody. Not that, not that I should try to please everybody. Uh, but I thank you for your patience and for your understanding as we navigate these days. The truth is, the church was made for times like this. The Church of Jesus Christ was built for crisis. This is our opportunity to thrive, and we don't want to miss that chance to continue to do so. Now, we all want to be gathered back together as soon as we can possibly be gathered back together. We still don't have an exact date yet. We're not rushing. Uh, let, let me tell you a few things. Um, when we do gather back together, uh, we're not going to be gathering, as I hear some folks saying, we're not going to be gathering based on some sort of a protest against uh, the government or the powers that be saying we're going to we're going to uh, uh, meet just to just to show them uh, that's not going to be the right spirit for gathering for worship. That's a that's a wrong motive. Uh, let me also tell you that the decisions that we're making right now, uh, nothing is based on fear. Um, no decisions are being based on fear. Uh, the decision making is based on love and particularly love for those who are most vulnerable among us. We will phase back in uh, when the time is right. Let me also tell you uh, that we are not going to assert our right to meet. I've heard some people say, you know, we have a constitutional right to meet uh, for worship and we need to exercise that right. And uh, while that is true, and while that I'm glad that that's true, I want to embrace the spirit of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 when Paul said, I've got a right to do a lot of things. Just because I have a right to do something doesn't mean I'm going to do it. And the Apostle Paul said, I'm going to lay down my rights for the sake of others. And in that same spirit, yes, we have a right to gather, but we're going to lay down that right for just a little bit longer for the sake of vulnerable people among us. The truth is that it's, it's some of our most vulnerable people who are, you know, bless them, they're the kind of folks who show up every time the doors are open. And uh, I gotta look out for them because I love them. And so we're gonna continue to proceed cautiously. Again, not based out of fear, but, but based on love. So during this time, as we're all in a hurry to, to rush back and we all wanna get back as soon as we can, I wanna ask you not to miss out on what God is saying to you and doing in you during this particular season. Don't be in such a hurry to get back together that you miss out on the work that God desires to do in you. Don't rush back. Don't feel the need to rush back for your sake, for your spiritual growth. Because maybe it's in times like this, and some of you have already articulated this to me, it's in times like this that we experience growth unlike other times. So what I say to you is don't miss this chance. Stay tuned, we'll send some more messages out. Keep checking in on each other, keep tuning in to Sunday worship. God is good. 
We are blessed. The church is empowered in these days to be the church. Let's continue to be light in the dark.